Followed your report. There weren't any obvious wounds or injuries on the body. I just ran a quick web search on Mike Drummond's name. This is from the online edition of the Canley Gazette. Mike Drummond was at the General Medical Council yesterday, answering a rap for negligence. And what happened? Some guy called Adam Prophet went in for what should have been a standard operation to remove a tumour, but his heart stopped on the operating table and he died. What was the outcome of the hearing? A death from natural causes, completely exonerated. No blemish on Mike Drummond's record. But ten hours later, his death. Exactly. Well, we obviously need to look into this. Joe, can you and Stevie get down to the hospital, break the news to his colleagues, and find out what you can about his next of kin? Go. Apparently they live in Australia. Grace, if you and Max can grab a couple of uniforms, check out any CCTV of Drummond's flat, liaise with CSE, get back to me with any developments. We realise this must be a terrible shock for you, sir. Mr. Pierce, would you say you had a close working relationship with Dr. Drummond? I was a surgeon. He was my anaesthetist. Together we worked on over 2,000 operations. We're aware of what happened yesterday at the GMC hearing. Is there anything else you can tell us about that? Well, the patient stopped breathing during an operation to remove a brain tumour. The shock of an invasive procedure can occasionally prove fatal. Can you think of anyone who might have wanted to harm him? <laughs> I'm sorry. The idea is so absurd I can't take it seriously. No, he was a victim of some sort of sordid witch hunt, that's all. What do you mean a witch hunt? Harry. It came as soon as I heard it's a mistake, right? Harry Maitland. Mike and Harry were at medical school today. I'm afraid we need someone to identify the body. with the outcome of the hearing, Mr. Pierce mentioned something about some sort of witch hunt. What was this? Adam Prophet's wife, Jane. Was she at the hearing? Yeah. Did she talk to Dr. Drummond? Yeah. What happened? She just walked up, called him a murderer, slapped him in the face and then left. What does Mrs. Prophet look like? Early 50s, long, wavy brown hair, right? Can you think of anything else that's happened, either yesterday or before that, that might have a connection with Mike's death? No. No, nothing seems relevant. You sure? Yeah. Where do we contact Mrs. Prophet? You can ask the GMC. So the description Harry Maitland gave of Mrs. Prophet, I see one, early 50s, dark brown hair, matches the description that the green fairy gave to Roger and Beth. Also the description of the woman seen hanging around outside Mike's flat. I think it's going to take more than a public slap in the face to pull Jane Prophet in. Plus, if she's planned all this, why draw attention to herself in front of 30 odd witnesses? Anything else? I'm not sure, Gov. I think Harry was holding something back myself. No, well, he was upset. It was hard to tell, wasn't it? I think we should have another look at this negligence case. I think there might be something in that. Sarah Oscar for Sarah Oscar 2-1. You're the mission vehicle, 7417 Victor Charlie. It's been located at Paint and Park Industrial Estate. Socko's on the way. All right, stay on the scene, Tony, and I will be with you ASAP. Thank you. Yeah, I'd say there were definitely two people present here last night. Looks like there was a struggle round about here. The way these splashes of blood are positioned on the carpet is consistent with being hit. There weren't any obvious signs of injury to Mike, though. Mm, if it was a nosebleed, the water would have probably washed the blood from the body. No, no. The thing that is puzzling me is this. Looks like Frankenstein's minibar. Platvatron. And a bag of syringes. What's Platvatron? I phoned a colleague. She's never heard of it. She's looking it up for me. Anything else? Mobile phone. Found underneath the sofa. Passcode protected. Can you try one triple nine? Hmm. How'd you work that one out? Pure genius. You have one message. Message one. You think you've got away with it, don't you? 
Well, it doesn't end here. Not by a long way. This isn't the end of it. Is there any number? The number was held. Okay. Thanks, Eddie. You're very welcome. I'll take this. Well, my guess is it was dumped and then broken into. Radio's missing, etc. All right, anyone see anything? No, I use a wall of silence. I want the cameras. Oh, no, that one's broken, Mum. Building's been empty for months. Mind you, the tire place over there, they've given us their CCTV tapes. I'll go through those, see if it gives us anything. All right, once soccer have finished getting their mitts all over it, get it moved, all right? Well. How's it going? Well, the footage from the tire place doesn't cover the area where the car was dumped, but I reckon we've got the geezer who nicked the radio and the other stuff. I managed to get a still, put it through facial recognition and crim it, and lo and behold, he's a friend of yours. A friend of mine? There you go. Apparently you nicked him a few times. Dave Batchelor? I nicked him about six months ago, robbing trainers for gear. And then a couple of times after that. I fixed him up with a referral worker, rehab, everything. Last I heard, he was teaching English to asylum seekers. So you know where he lives? I know where he used to live. Well, seeing as he's such a good mate of yours and Tony's got his eye in here, why don't we try and track him down while Tony takes a look at these? Thank you so much. Cheers, mate. Once a junkie, always a junkie. That's the truth. Oh, it's been so cheerful. Keeps you going, isn't it, Roger? Hello? 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 We're looking for a Dave Bachelor. Is he here? Stop it, she's got you, not going anywhere. Come on, over here. Over here, put your hands on your head. Hands on your head. Stand up straight. Stand up. Dave Batchelor, I'm arresting you for the theft of a motor vehicle. You do not have to say anything. What happened to you? You do not mention you were off this stuff for good. Something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? I'm sorry. There's no clear cause of death yet. The fridge is stashed with medication we're still trying to identify. What if he was drugged and then killed? Well, a quick look at his lungs should establish whether he's alive or not when he hit the water. We have any news from the pathologist yet? Uh, maybe they should be looking for a puncture wound. Well, the presence of all those drugs, I mean, that's suspicious. Gov, I've been speaking to the chief exec at St Jacob's about the complaint against Dr Drummond. I also spoke to the security guard, and it turns out that Jane Prophet has had to be removed from the building three times in the last two weeks because she's been kicking off about Dr Drummond. Because she blames him for her husband's death. She thinks it's all going to get swept under the carpet, you know, docks closing ranks, that sort of thing. Well, we know she approached him after the GMC hearing. And we know she's been doorstepping him at his flat. Plus, the last message on his mobile is a threatening message from a woman. Not by a long right, way. Max, Grace, I think it's time we had a word with Mrs. Prophet. Yeah. And can you two check out this drug, Plavitron? Find out what it is and what it was doing in Drummond's flats. Mrs. Prophet? Yes? DS Carter and DC Dastry. Sun Hill. Mind if we come in? Will this take long? I have to be somewhere. I really do need to. Can you just come in for a minute? Thank you. Yesterday, you were at the General Medical Council, attending a hearing for a negligence case which you initiated against Dr. Drummond. Is that right? Yes. My husband's heart stopped, caused by an overestimation of anaesthetic. St. Jacob's is trying to cover up by making out there were other complications, but I've done my research, I've talked to experts. We have a witness who says you followed Dr. Drummond out of the hearing and slapped his face. The entire medical profession closing ranks, it made me sick. Where did you go after the hearing? Did you attempt to contact Dr. Drummond? That said all I had to say. What about the call you made to his mobile yesterday at 8.30? I didn't make any call. Mrs. Prophet, how did you get Dr. Drummond's address and phone number? I don't know what you're talking about. Jane Prophet? I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. Showing the suspect the exhibit TS1. There's a CCTV picture taken this morning from the Peyton Park Industrial Estate. That's you, isn't it? Dave, are you robbing to pay for your drugs? What happened to the job? The programme came to an end. When I stopped earning money, I lost the flat. What was I supposed to do? You could try getting a job like the rest of us. Look, if we could get...